Hot Potters and welcome once again to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You're joining me and the girls today just outside the village of Standish near Wigan where we've come for a little bit of a wander around what used to be the golf course on Standish Court. The golf club apparently opened in about 1995 but closed rather spectacularly in 2010 when the uh, management decided to call all the staff, about a dozen of them, into the clubhouse one Sunday and tell them that it was closing with immediate effect. Which unfortunately meant the, those poor buggers was out of a job, but also those that had paid membership fees had no club to come to. Since then, this course has slowly been returning back to nature, and dog walkers such as myself have made it our own. However, all that's about to change, as Wigan Council have just um, announced that they're going to allow them to build 250 homes on this site. And as we speak, Persimmon Homes are currently busy with phase one of this development, which I believe is going to be called the Furways. Now, I should imagine it'll not be long before the fence that you can see before me will end up behind me. And that lovely view of green will be lost to bricks and mortar. So, whilst I sat to the left of me, is now out of bounds and all fenced off and we can't go over there. Most of the course still remains pretty much accessible. So let's go and have a little wander, shall we? I'm now at the back of the Owls restaurant, which uh, is just off Rectory Lane, and approaching the 15th and 16th holes, which the 16th, I believe, used to be known as Lakeside due to that pond in the distance. I bet there's quite a few golf balls in there if, uh, if somebody dragged it. It's only when you actually stand here and take a little loot round and pause for breath that you realise that this area has such natural beauty and it's hard to imagine that very soon all this will be ripped up and turned into an housing estate. Oddly enough, no one's playing today. Once again, you can just see at the 16th hole there how nature's reclaimed. This pond's looking, I've uh, seen better days, I think. Just look at that. If I'd paid my membership fees, I'd be disgusted. And here we are on the 12th. Marker there that you could see in the picture, as I've just shown you before. Still standing. And I believe those two trees there in the background cause a lot of problem for golfers on this one. This area is actually known as Sandy Grave. Why, I don't know, unless there was quite a number of bunkers, but I can't find them, they're all overgrown now. The famous big tree there on the 12th, with the bunker just at the side of it. The famous big tree that caused so many problems for golfers now has a swing on it. Some kids have made a rope swing. Another shot of the 12th marker there. None of these have any, any plates on them. I should imagine they've been, been removed by former members who've taken them as souvenirs. Yeah. It's hardly recognisable, to be honest, from the, the photographs I've seen. I mean, it's such a shame because the problem with a lot of golf courses is a lot of owners fall into the trap of believing that they just need to send somebody out on one of those ride-on lawnmowers once a fortnight and then just sit back and let the money roll in and it's no, apparently it's a labour of love just about to enter one of the groundskeeping areas I'm sure that sign once told golfers that uh, they wasn't allowed beyond this point but we've got permission yeah, I think this is where uh, they would have stored sand etc and they're known as sand boxes just make out the railway sleepers there. This one will give you a better a better version. This is sort of the hidden side of golf courses that you never see really if you're playing around. Once again trees that'll just be lost I should imagine. We're now approaching the second hole. Just crossing a little throw back here to the old golf course, a man-made wooden bridge. Of railway sleepers. I wonder how many people have gone on the backsides on a rainy day. It's just gone all slutchy this, it's like the bloody sum to be honest. 
don't want to think I was buying a house on here and drainage problems we're now at the second hole or second teeing off point should I say not the second hole strangely enough I haven't found any golf balls or indeed any of the uh, the former golf holes but uh, there we have it there's the second one and a lovely view once again you can see the actual fairway the area of the fairway but uh, it looks nothing like it did in the brochure The pond that you see in front of me was part of the uh, the fifth hall or the fifth fairway and was known as Mill Pond and there's a good photograph known as Sunrise over the fifth green looks a bit different now doesn't it here we are on the seventh fairway known as the Grove The building in the photograph I just showed you is now obscured by some trees but you can just make out Standish Church Spire there in the distance which makes this uh, location identifiable. Well I'm now at the 7th tee and about to exit and get off the golf course. This is where we came on, we sort of came on at the back. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little ramble round uh, Standish Court golf course. If you do intend coming on here and uh, fancy a little walk yourself, I suggest you bring your wellies as it's rather boggy. But uh, I also suggest you get it done rather soon because as you can see the, um, the builders etc are slowly moving towards the edge of the golf course. Anyway, it's goodbye from me and the girls for now and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.